Tuesday, February 3rd, 1846. Notwithstanding that I had announced that we would not attend to the administration of the ordinances, the house of the Lord was thronged all day, the anxiety being so great to receive, as if the brethren would have us stay here and continue the endowments until our way would be hedged up and our enemies would intercept us. Brothers and sisters, this is not wise. To remain here may put our very lives in danger. We will yet build more temples and have further opportunities to receive the blessings of the Lord. In this temple, we have been abundantly rewarded if we receive no more. It is my intention now to go home, hitch up my wagons, and be off. I recommend the same for you. I walked some distance from the temple, supposing the crowd would disperse. But on returning, I found the house filled to overflowing. Come, my friends. Let us go in. Looking upon the multitude, and knowing their anxiety as they were thirsting and hungering for the word, I continued at work diligently the house of the Lord. 295 persons received ordinances. This morning, we have assembled on one of the most solemn, interesting, joyful and glorious occasions that ever have transpired or will transpire among the children of men. While the earth continues in its present organization, and is occupied for its present purposes. 
Let me give you the definition in brief. Your endowment is to receive all those ordinances in the house of the Lord which are necessary for you after you have departed this life to enable you to walk back to the presence of the Father, passing the angels who stand as sentinels and gain your eternal exaltation in spite of earth and hell. It is the house of the Lord, a place of revelation and of peace. As we attend the temple, we learn more richly and deeply the purpose of life and the significance of the atoning sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us make the temple with temple worship and temple covenants and temple marriage our ultimate earthly goal and the supreme mortal experience. Let us reaffirm more vigorously than we ever have in the past that it does matter where you marry and by what authority you are pronounced man and wife. All of our efforts in proclaiming the gospel, perfecting the saints, and redeeming the dead lead to the holy temple. This is because the temple ordinances are absolutely crucial. We cannot return to God's presence without them.